to the US and the commander of the war in Afghanistan has flown into Washington to hand deliver his recommendation on the military drawdown to the US President and the Pentagon. General David Petraeus is expected to suggest a slow withdrawal but the demands in the US are growing for the process to be sped up. Well, that appears to be matching public sentiment in Australia and it's something that's worried senior Republican Senator John McCain. Here's our Washington correspondent Lisa Miller. As the leading Republican on the Armed Services Committee and a former presidential candidate, John McCain has been intensely involved in the debate on the war in Afghanistan. The arguments being heard in Australia about troop withdrawals are also being heard here, and it's on that basis that Senator McCain agreed to speak to us. Senator McCain, thank you very much for joining us. The opinion polls in Australia seem to be following what we're seeing here in the US as well, that there's a sense that they want the troops home from Afghanistan sooner rather than later. Are you worried that the Allies are losing faith in this mission? I am. I'm concerned because uh, it's clear and understandable that um, Americans and Australians are war weary, number one, but also the economic situation, particularly here in the US, is such that um, Spending $100 billion a year in Afghanistan is a, is a very heavy burden. Uh, my uh, response to that is that um, we cannot forget that this is where the attacks of 9-11 began in Afghanistan. And to have uh, Afghanistan deteriorate to a situation where the Taliban can return and perhaps al-Qaeda and a, it become a cockpit for the major nations in the region is not in Australia or United States national security interests. What do you say, though, to an Australian family who's sending off their sons and daughters to Afghanistan about why Australia is there? I, I tell them I thank them for their sons and daughters' service and sacrifice, and they are our best and strongest allies in many respects. Um, but I also point out that I would rather have them fighting in Afghanistan than Australia, Australia or the United States becoming the target for terrorist attacks. Radical Islamic extremism is a threat to America's and Australia's national security. So we have to serve there, in my view, in order to prevent those elements from coming closer to our countries. The debate here appears to be bipartisan as far as the drawdown and, and the, the fact that perhaps the death of Osama bin Laden was a game changer. What do you say to Australians who are saying let's get this drawdown happening sooner rather than later? I say that Al-Qaeda has become remarkably uh, resilient uh, when their leaders have been taken out. I also say that the Arab Spring now presents opportunity and challenges. And if the Taliban or radical Islamic extremists succeed in Afghanistan and that part of the world, obviously it will spread to the rest of the Arab world. But I think it's important uh, that we saw this movie once before in Iraq in the summer of 2007. The surge was working. It was not apparent to the American people and Congress. And we held fast and we have succeeded in Iraq. This is a very similar situation. We are succeeding militarily on the ground in Afghanistan. Now, we have enormous challenges with corruption in the Karzai government and Pakistan, and the situation, frankly, is a bit worse there. But um, we are succeeding on the ground thanks to the service and sacrifice of brave young Americans and Australians and our coalition allies. What, what do you think Australia's role will be after 2014? I think that Australia's role will be a major factor in a stable Pacific region, whether it be in small countries, island countries and others where Australia has been a great force for peace, or whether it be in coalitions with other nations as we uh, confront the challenge of an emerging China. I believe China will be a peaceful entrant on the world stage. But the West, best way to ensure that is that nations in the region conduct joint exercises together, have coalitions together, and both economically and politically. I believe Australia will be a leader 
in the entire Pacific region. And what about in Afghanistan, though? Do you still see Australian troops being required there, perhaps in fairly large numbers? We've got 1,500 still there at the moment. I hope that they will uh, be able to adhere to the 2014 date for our withdrawal. So you'd be concerned if there was talk of them being pulled out before then? I would be concerned about our ability to finish operations in eastern Afghanistan. We have basically got southern Afghanistan under control. We need all the help we can get. And by the way, the Australians are very good fighters, as we've known for a long, long time. And they have been in the south of the country, and I realise that there is now focus on the east of the country. Do you see Australia's role growing into the east, into those borderland areas with Pakistan, perhaps away from the Uruzgan province, where they have mostly been working? I think that it's very obvious that the majority of our effort, once the South is that kind of success is completed, that we would be moving on to other areas. But um, look, uh, the Australians are very great professional military people, and obviously they contribute enormously. And I say with some respect to our other allies, beyond the, the simple numbers, they're very, very good. What is the ramifications for America to see this kind of debate going on in Australia? I mean, I realise there are 1,500 troops, much less than the Americans have in Afghanistan, but does that send echoes of worry through the US levels of power? I think in both countries this debate is taking place. I think it's healthy. I think that uh, the more we know about it, the more I think we can persuade people that we have succeeded militarily and we need to finish the job, which is basically one more fighting season. But look, we live in democracies where people's voices are heard. And it's a job of people like me to try to point out the, the downside, the, the real, real costs we might incur in the future if we pull out of Afghanistan without completing the job, which I think we can with one more fighting season. And I understand that that's not popular. What is your view in regards to the American withdrawal? We'll soon be hearing what the decision might be. You've said previously you think it should be modest. What is that number? Well, I agree with Secretary Gates that it should be modest, and I think it should be support personnel rather than those who are actively engaged in counterinsurgency operations. I don't know the exact number, but um, I do believe that Secretary is Gates is correct when he said the number should be, quote, modest. If it's too large, it sends a message to our friends, such as Australia and others and the British and others, that there should be, quote, significant pullout, too. I, I think that General Petraeus is one of the finest generals in American history. And General Petraeus believes we can get the job done, that we are getting it done in the southern part of Afghanistan, and we can complete the mission. Just as he said in Iraq, when the surge was under attack, that we could complete the mission there. If we had pulled out of Iraq, as many people wanted to in 2007, Iraq would be a very different place today. Senator McCain, just finally on the F-35s, Australia is uh, very involved in this project, but eyeing the spiralling costs. What can you say to the Australian Defence Department about this F-35 project that is heading into the billions and billions of dollars? I say that the costs have gone way, way beyond any of our expectations, that it's a disgrace, and we're going to have to look carefully in the next uh, months or year as to whether that weapon system can be successfully completed. And we look forward to sharing information with Australia and other countries who have also invested in this weapon system. It's a wonderful weapon system. The question is, can we get the costs under control? Is it ever going to be delivered to Australia? You're suggesting perhaps if we get it the might cost, not. No, if, if we get the costs under control, and I think we have their attention, I pray we have their attention, we may be able to successfully complete this at a cost that's not prohibitive. It remains at risk, though, the project at this point I in think time. So. Uh, Secretary Gates put the marine version on probation. I think the entire program should be on probation.
Senator McCain, thank, thank you. you very much for your time. That's no, good to be with you.